welcome to my channel. My name is Heisey. I'm a working mom of a 21 month old named Alina. In today's video, I'm going to share with you guys seven ways to display books for toddlers Montessori way. So let's get started. So quickly before I jump right into it, the main difference of Montessori bookshelf from traditional one is that it's front faced. Instead of having one big bookshelf where you keep all of your kids' book, in Montessori World, a small number of books are displayed in an aesthetically pleasing way on a front-faced bookshelf, and every now and then, we rotate the books. This means I don't keep all the books we have out all the time because it can be too overwhelming to her. Instead, I choose a small collection of books based on Alina's interests and needs and rotate it as required. I'm going to talk more about book rotation system we have in the upcoming video. As with any Montessori space that promotes accessibility and freedom for children, you need a bookshelf that is sturdy, low to the ground, making them safe and accessible for toddlers. So basically anything that allows your child to gather and put away a book independently and safely will work. So here are seven ideas to display books for toddlers Montessori way. I've recently created a small area for Alina's toilet training and put this small magazine rack next to a potty for a collection of several books about toilet training. She likes to sit on the potty and read all about it over and over again. This rack is from Daiso. It's simple and cute. You can put this rack in a small area like next to a potty or in the teepee tent. I think a small magazine rack can be perfect for storing your toddler's books. Now I'm in Alina's bedroom. In this corner, I placed a IKEA flea set book display on the floor with a comfy couch next to it where she can just sit comfortably and read while she's alone in the bedroom. When Alina isn't tired enough to fall asleep or wakes up earlier than usual, she would sit here and read books until one of us comes over. I love this unit because it showcases books with the covers facing out, making it easier for her to see what she wants. It's so simple but still really functional and safe around kids. I've installed this wall shelf next to a bed so she can just reach over and grab whatever she wants to read rather than have to get out of the bed to grab books. Since we got her floor bed, I found her sleeping on the floor next to the couch multiple times because she would fall asleep while reading and I had to move her back to bed at night. That's why I got this wall shelf so she can just grab books from here and read in bed. A wall bookshelf can be a great way to save floor space while storing your child's books in a beautiful and accessible way. I got this one from Kmart. I love how it is retained and so pretty. However, I'm going to recommend IKEA flea set wall shelves instead because I realize these shelves are not made for children and these corners are not really smooth enough for kids. And I'm actually thinking of switching them to IKEA ones for safety reasons sometime soon. This is a book basket and these books are the books that I used to read to Alina when she was 6 to 8 months old. I had kept them in our guest bedroom where we keep all our junk, thinking that Alina's now done and dusted with these books. And I found Alina reading those books the other day and seemingly enjoying them very much. So I decided to put them next to the TP tent so she can read them time to time if she likes. Montessori book baskets can be an inexpensive yet attractive way to um, feature books and make them easily accessible for toddlers. It's compact and portable so we can just move this basket wherever we like in the house. And inside the tipi tent we got a fluffy cushion and some stuffed toys to make it nice and cozy. We always keep one or two books inside the tipi tent because Alina and I love to lie in here and read them together. You can display a book on a tray with some animal figurines for animal matching game. This book is about farm animals and we all have some sort of farm animal figurines at home so I thought it'll be fun to do some matching games with it. I used the IKEA tray to make it look more appealing and inviting. This is a front facing bookshelf aka Montessori bookshelf. For toddlers, what draws their interest to a book are the images and pictures on the cover and the front-faced bookshelves make it easy for them to find and choose what they want. 
with traditional bookshelves, books tend to get all pulled off the shelves and thrown everywhere, whereas this bookshelf allows your child to gather and place books back on the shelf independently and successfully. It took me months to find the perfect front-facing bookshelf that is simple, sturdy and affordable. What I really love about this bookshelf is that it doesn't cover the front of the book at all and there's no storage space on the bottom here so toddlers can actually reach all the way to the top shelf. I think setting up an inviting and comfy reading nook for your little one is one of the ways to encourage reading at home. This space is currently my favourite spot of the house. I've transformed this kitchen bar space into a reading lot for Alina using the IKEA TroFast wall storage. This product is designed to be installed on the wall but I placed it on the floor because it's a small, low and just perfect size for this particular space. Making this area to a reading nook wasn't originally what I planned but I found her sitting on top of the shelf here and read books at times while I'm cooking or doing some work and stuff. So then I thought this little space can actually be a perfect space in our home to set up Alina's reading nook as it's part of our common room where our family spends a lot of time together and still be cozy. I'll briefly walk you guys through how I transform my IKEA bookshelf to a cozy reading nook for my daughter. We got a timber panel from Bunnings and cut to size and put it over the IKEA bookshelf to make the sitting space slightly bigger than what it actually is. I just want to quickly tell you guys that I make videos about Montessori at home, play ideas for toddlers and Montessori inspired home makeover, so if that sounds like something you're interested in watching more of, Make sure you subscribe to my channel and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up. And then I added small size cushions to make it comfier, which I made out of an IKEA cushion because I couldn't find any small cushions that are small enough. So I simply cut one cushion into four and hand sew it. leftover fabric that comes so I made four cushion covers as well. which is perfect for reading and I also added other little bits and bobs to make it cozy and cute. So this is it. I'll try to link everything in the description box down below for you to check out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, it would really mean a lot to me if you hit the subscribe button and like button because that really helps my channel to grow. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!